Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. These are my reusable stencils. These are made of uh, plastic dividers that I've cut up. I haven't used these in a while and I thought I would revisit them. So anyway, I will arrange these on my 18 by 24 gel plate. I have here some very large shapes. Now the advantage of having a larger plate is I'm able to use more shapes. So what I will do is I'm going to lay down a first layer of Mars Black. Now what the stencils will do is create some kind of form um, as opposed to the previous work which is very free form this creates a little bit of structure so it's going to be a different approach Now I'm being pretty generous with the paint. Uh, this is in contrast to many other artists who use a gel plate and spread the paint very, very thinly. I do the opposite. 
I uh, apply a thick layer and the, the thick layer is what causes the uh, ghost prints. So if you, if you don't have enough paint, you're not going to have uh, any anything left for a ghost print. Okay, I'm going to do some marks. Now the squiggly lines break up the monotony. And create some more texture. This time I'll be using a pair of tweezers to pick up my reusable stencils. Okay, I think I got them all. So I'm going to air dry this. This is going to be the first layer, so I'm going to let it dry and then apply some lighter colors on top of this. yellow this is turquoise light colors.
So what the secondary layer does is activate the first layer. Now this time I'm making sure that it's an even and thin layer. Again, I'm using Richardson printmaking paper. This is 22 by 30. Okay, I will let this sit for about five to six minutes. Okay, this is really exciting. Let's see what we have here. something different. Pretty cool, I think. Okay, I will air dry this and just keep going. Okay, everybody, here we are at the second layer. Uh, as you can see, I put a very elaborate arrangement of small stencils or masks, whatever you like to call them. So these are the um, plastic dividers that I cut up and they seem to be the only material that, um, well, first of all, it's, it's affordable. It's, uh, and it is washable. So now I will apply some lighter colors. Um, I have here Dune. We'll start with that. So this is to counteract the black.
And this is Naples yellow. Here is Arctic. So my application of the color is quite random. Okay. So I'm going to start with the dune first. Now my original plan was to use different brayers for the different colors, but I do like the blending of all these colors using one brayer. Since they are light colors. So in the spirit of experimentation, I'm going to just keep going. Try not to get my head in the way of the camera. going to be interesting because when the stencils or masks are this small it's very easy to forget and leave one behind so I'm just going to have to take my time and remove them one by one okay So I ended up using one brayer after all.
So I'm hoping that the images will be very clear and well defined. Now this process is very similar to what you do with silkscreen because in printmaking school I devoted a lot of time doing silkscreen and it's pretty much the same principle you create all these layers of color and then you block by using uh, a, a stencil liquid you create your images by blocking the ink and that's what creates the different layers same principle using different mediums. Now what discourages me from using silkscreen is it is, well it's very messy and it demands a lot of space because there's a lot of equipment involved and since I am working in my living room it's not very practical at the moment. Okay, here's the part where I go searching for these tiny pieces. I hope I don't forget anyone. I think I have them all. Okay. Well, even if I do forget one piece, it will not be a big tragedy because uh, generally it looks, it looks pretty good. All right. So here is the piece with the first pull. And I am going to apply a second layer. Now this is where registration plays a very critical role. What registration does is it makes sure that the layers fall into the same place each time. It's the principle of consistency. Now, since this was a gift from a dear friend, uh, it's a pretty unique piece of equipment but I do have some videos that you can create a registration device using very simple objects like wood molding or strips of foam core
Okay, I will leave this on for about five minutes and keep my fingers crossed. Okay, it's been about five minutes. This is very exciting. So let's see how we made out. I may have uh, turned this print upside down by mistake, but at this point I won't consider it as a mistake because I think the result is really awesome. Now this resembles more of a woodcut. Now check this out. Actually, I like the fact there's a slight misregistration it emphasizes the layering of the first layer and the second one. So this is way beyond my expectation and uh, very happy with this. So I will air dry this piece and keep going. Now I'm going to try to capture this ghost. Um, This time I will do something very opposite of the first piece. Which is doing something totally freeform.
this time I will use a wider brayer. We'll start with the green. So this is going to be totally in contrast with the first piece, which is very formal, very structured. But this is very free form. So these are two different schools of thought. Again, I will make my squiggles, which is one of my idiosyncrasies. Because every artist has their own little idiosyncrasies or quirks. Now, since I'm trying to pick up the ghost print or leftover paint, I'm going to leave this on a little longer. Okay, let's see what we have here. Let me just clear this. Oh, I can tell it's a good transfer because the plate is really stuck on the paper. Very cool. OK, 
okay. This is a total contrast to the first piece. Very free form and loose. So you have two schools of thought. One is structured and one is very unstructured. So we'll air dry both of these and recap. Okay, everybody, here's my favorite part of this video where I get to show you the final print. So this is the first print with two layers of stencils. And here is a close-up. Now the close-up reveals these very interesting textures. And the result is very similar to that of a woodcut because the brayer creates these grains, these lines of, of textures that resemble the grain of wood. I'm very happy with this piece. Um, it exceeds my expectations. Totally different from this first one. And here's a close up. This is more in keeping with abstract expressionist concept. So it has more complexity, even if it is um, unstructured. It's the kind of artwork that you can look at over and over again and discover all these little details. I hope you like this video. Please like, give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends. Please pay a visit to artwhisperer88.com, which is my storefront. And these pieces are up for sale. And the proceeds help to keep this channel going. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And I hope to see you next time.